week. Yay! I eat out of cans and out of cans I am a eating. Sometimes it's green beans, sometimes cream corn, sometimes bananas. It's real nice cause they snow return and no deposit. Real nice cause they keep store fresh right in your closet. Life is without spam till you can shout out. I eat out of cans. Yay! Coming up next, the Little Miss Itty Bitty Trailer Park Princess Pageant and a double helping of Charlene Tilton after these important messages. Welcome back. This next clip is brought to us from our field reporters in Atlanta, Georgia. Yay! Yay! Hey, Miss Laura, it's me, Deandra Peak, coming to you live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA, which is in America the Beautiful. Sophie Odom. And it's Atlanta the Beautiful, too, with over 50 beauty pageants each and every week. And my little sister, Baby Jean Peak, has done been in a whole mess of them. Welcome to this year's Little Miss Itty Bitty Georgia Trailer Park Princess Pageant. And I'm your announcer, Ralph Bailey. Golly, y'all, I'm backstage now with my little sister, Baby Jean Peak, who's fixing to compete. Sandra. And she Sandra. has already won Sandra. a whole big old bunch of mess of titles, y'all. Darling, Sandra. can you tell Sandra. me some of them titles Sandra. you now hold? Sandra, let me tell you some of the titles I now hold. Misty Little General Convenience Store Junior, Tiny Little Miss Perky Palmetto Personality, Teenightsy Lady Georgia Strip Mall, Juniorette Miss Palmetto Mini Mall. Golly! The reigning Miss Teeny Pre-Teeny Queen, our next contestant, Baby Jean Peak. <laughs> That was her asthma attack acting up again, y'all. But you know what? Baby Jean still went on to win third runner-up. And was voted Little Miss Sissy Doll by her fellow contestants. Now back to you, Miss Laura. Yay! Yay! Why do they use my name? I don't know those people. Our next featured... Welcome back. Uh, before we show you this next little offering, I just wanted to warn you that during this piece, you might hear things like, hello, Miss Laura, and back to you, Miss Laura, implying that some kind of personal relationship exists between me and these two freaks. And I just want to let you know, I have never seen them before today, and I don't have anything to do with these people. In fact, I don't know how this little bullshit piece got in the show. So here we go. Yay! Hey, Miss Laura. It's me, Deandra Peak, with Duffy Odom, and we're coming to you live all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. And there's a whole mess of big old buildings right behind us that's got all kinds of shops, that's got all kinds of stuff that you'd ever want in them. But they're real expensive. That's how come we like to shop at Georgia's famous roadside boutiques, where the choice is big and the price is free. We'll get Berlin and Lee Otis, and we'll show you how it works.
some kind of neat stuff you can get on them roadside boutiques, y'all. Look at what I done got for my little sister, Baby Jean. Wow. Baby Jean, come on out here, darling. Look at what I done got at the roadside boutique for you. Oh, what is this? Wow. You know that octopus is the only thing that's made sense all night. Now prepare your... Hi, welcome back. You know, I was in London last summer, and I was wondering, do you guys have Prozac over there? Because if there were ever a country in need of mood elevators, yeah, it's you. How come you're so cranky? I mean, I'm doing this shit, and I'm not happy, but I'm pretending, you know? I've got a smile on my face. And it's called putting up a front. You should try it. It'd be nice to me the next time I go over there. All right, let's look at this next thing. Yeah. Hi, Miss Laura. It's me, Deandra Peak, with Duffy Odom, reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. You know, the whole world gets its news from Atlanta CNN. But here at Odom's All Double Wide Mobile Homesport, where we live, we get ours from TPNNN. That's the Trailer Park News and Network, where you can get the newest trailer park news and UFO sightings. Let's take a look. Trailer Park News and Network. The news nobody else will tell. Y'all know me, I'm Darlester Epps. Trailer Park News. Getting out of jail this week. Misty Cosette Swern, check forgery. Sean Dustin Esco, arson. And leaving soon of far. Up next, fishing update with Berlin Peak. Thank you, Mr. Darlester. Now, the crappies is running real good down to the crappie pond, but if you want you a cooter, you're going to have to wait on them. Now, the crappies love white bread and imitation white wheat chewed up into a ball, something like this here. Now, here's Miss Starla Peak with her very own S-Files. You know me, I'm Starla Peak, bringing you S-Files with the latest in UFO, Princess Grace, and Elvis sightings. There's been some kind of rash of reports of alien abductions. I have received this amateur video with a note saying this was a real life alien abduction. Now look at that, you know that ain't right. Mm -mm, look at there. Mm -mm. I, mm -mm, that's just, look at that. Do not fall for this scam. Do not let these so-called aliens into your trailer. Day-old white bread and imitation white wheat was reported missing after these invasions. That lady that was abducted was done watching my TV show. You know that's right. And that's how we get the 411 here in Atlanta, GA. Back to you, Miss Laura. Yay! I have two words for those freaks. Restraining order. Don't use my name and don't try and contact me. This is it. All right. Oh, there's the doorbell. The Church of Recreational Chemistry and a double helping of Linda Blair. After these important messages. Yeah, I'm depressed, wouldn't you be? They said it's inoperable. Yeah. I mean, I, I won't die from it, but I'll probably always have it. That's what's... Oh, are we, are we, all right. Uh, welcome back, and uh, here's our next clip. Yay! Yay! Hey, Miss Laura, this here is one of the many hysterical markers around Atlanta. Yeah, and one of them says that the first tavern Selling whiskey liquor was built 10 years before the first church. But since then, a whole mess of churches has done sprung up till there's near too many churches as bars now. And here's one down near Odom's. Bless you all and welcome to the First Church of Christ Recreational Chemist. You know Jesus does not want you to feel depressed. No, Jesus wants you to feel euphoric. That's right, Daddy. That reminds me how people always ask me how it is I know that the Lord wants me to be happy. The Lord gives us drugs so that we can be happy. 
In Deuteronomy 26 and 19, it says, and to make thee high above all nations. Now, Deuteronomy is a book of promises, and in this scripture, the Lord promises to keep us high. You know, Janet, that reminds me how often people tell me how tired they are, but they won't stop for just a few minutes to take some speed and a prayer. Speed and a prayer. It works wonders for tiredness. Let us pray with Abraham's servant in Genesis 24, 12. Oh, Lord, give me good speed this day. That's right, Mother. And in 1 Kings 12 and 18, it says, King Rehoboam made speed to get him up to his chariot. Over and over again, the Lord offers us drugs, but still you find people that won't sit at the table of the Lord and partake. So true, Janet. It makes me think again of Deuteronomy 28, 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. When you walk in the spirit, God will give you more and better drugs than you will ever find on your own. Let us be so very thankful that God gives us every day these drugs. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Amen. Church clock says time's done run out. Back to you, Miss Laura. Yay! Of course, you know that you can only get a natural eye from Jesus. And you should always just say no to drugs. And I'm not saying that because I have to. I'm, wh where's my nativity cross? Where, can I get my nativity cross, please? Give me my, God, thanks. Jesus. Oh, here's our next clip. Welcome back to the living hell that I call my failed life. But you can call it TV pizza, the Thorazine of TV shows. The show that gives you a warning, don't pick that scab. You might not like what you see. Let's watch this clip. Yeah! Hey, Miss Laura, it's me, Deandra Peak, reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. And this here's Duffy Odom. You know, there's some places you could live all your life and never know any of your neighbors. But after two days in a trailer park, you know everything there is to know about everybody. And at our trailer park, we has a very special place where people come to meet each other. It's called the Community Room. That's where they hold the meetings of the RuPaul Fan Club, Odom's Old Men's Club, Slain Hunter's Witter's Club, and a whole lot more. Let's go there and see what's going on. I'm Maxine Odom. Manager of Odom's All Double Wide Mobile Homes Court. Here in our community room, we strive to provide our residents with educational and entertainment events that will meet their needs, like this special interest musical performance. Froggy went according for man boy love. And we have your bi weekly political awareness lectures. And so, neighbors and comrades, Betty Jack Devine and Senior Socialists for Peace want you to remember all that socialism has done for us. Things like the 40-hour wake week, the electrification of the rural south, bad dog leash laws, and so much more. Thank you, socialism. We always offer up-to-the-minute health reports. This is Nate Stanji McWug for the Grady Infectious Disease Clinic. Look here, Impetigo is on the rise and spreading through the mobile home and trailer park community, although most of them think it's a rash. Let's go to that slide. Now this is Impetigo. Make sure you don't squeeze, poke, or taste any of the pus that's coming out of that Impetigo. We've identified Duffy Odom as patient zero. We got your celebrity concerts, like DeAndra Peak. It's my Gaga box, it's my Gaga box, it's my, it's my, it's my Gaga box. Regular readings by our own Odom's World Poetry Society. Moans of joy that protrude so gallant into my mind. Bulbous bone ball, my sweet meat. Swell like a fool told to my wanton womanhood. That poetry reading was the night they raided Odom's, y'all, and that ain't never happened before. They forgot to get their poetic licenses. Don't let that ever happen to you, Miss Laura. Yay! Why were they on? What did we agree to? 
It's, does anybody listen to me? Look, I, 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 that's it. You introduce your own clips. I don't need to, I don't need this. Just do it. Hey, welcome back. If you haven't been watching, why start now? Especially with the shit we're about to show you. Just don't watch it. Do me a favor, just don't watch it. And then we can all look at ourselves in the morning. Here it is. I told you no. Yay! Yay! Hey, Miss Laura, it's me, DeAndra Peak, with Duffy Odom, reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Look at here. Somebody done told us that they heard that there was a rumor going around that you had done said that you was experiencing some kind of discomfort during our segment of the show. They said you've been making fun and mocking us, acting like you don't know us, and worse than that, that you say you don't even like us at all or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Duffy. I know it's hurtful, but it's just a rumor. You remember the time that Delma Durrell Fane tried out for the part of Cosette in Les Miserables, and she was just so sure that she got the part. She was being so high and falutin' and acting like she didn't even know her own very best friends. You mean when she went fancy pantsin' and told Rilla Swern it was tacky to smoke inside her trailer? Do you also remember, Duffy, when Delma Durrell didn't get that part? She went crying to Rilla, thinking nobody liked her anymore, but what happened? Everybody showed up at Rilla's to give her a consolation buffet, just like she hadn't been snotty all that time. And what do we call that, Duffy? Southern Hospitality! So we wanted you to know, darling, here in our last segment, that we don't believe none of that stuff about you. And even if you did say them nasty things, we just think it was the medication talking, not our Miss Laura. That's all from Atlanta. Back to you, Miss Laura. We love you. Yay! Wow. I think maybe I judged them a bit too harshly. And now, hopefully they'll forgive me. I, I, I just want to tell them, uh, I'm such a pig, I don't even know their names, but I, I just want to say I'm sorry. And if you're willing, to still be friends, I'd, I'd like that a lot. Because I don't want to be one of these L.A. cold people who just shut everyone out. <sighs> wow, I think maybe I should just um, forget the rest of today, if that's okay, if we could get that uh, pizza fool in here, maybe, because he could finish up for me. I, I'm sorry, I just... <sighs> wow, I wasn't expecting that today, that's all. And um, I'd like to publicly apologize to those two guys, women, those, whatever they are. I'm sorry. Let's watch this next. Right now, DeAndra Peak cordially invites you to attend her nighttime soiree party. And it's being held in the party place at Odom's, a community room, where Maxine Odom has done partified everything way up. And let's head over to the community room and check in right now with Duffy Odom. Hey, good evening. We dedicate this program to the late Andre Castellanos and other high-class stuff because this is our evening show and that's why we're dressing our evening wear and this is our this is our our best evening dress this evening so go go into your closet and get your best evening dress and come back and show it to me <laughs> and if it's approved, I'll welcome you and tell you who I am, Duffy Odom, that's who, welcoming you to another wonderful Deandra's Nighttime Soiree. Party. Party. You may not be familiar with our show since this is our first one, but here, here in our evening show, we are going to be showing you some of the the more sophisticated 
things that, that you should be thinking of and to present yourself in the evening as you go out to party, as it were, so to speak, and in toto. We're going to show you a sampler of some of the most fun and some of the most popular things that you would see on your soiree party evenings at night. Here is the sampler now. Here on Deandra's Nighttime Soiree Party. Just as I was uh, getting ready to start the camera, and uh, you know, kind of messed me up. I don't know if I can be heard or not. I guess I should test the. Hold on, just. Test the earphones. Yes, it's working perfectly. This is my uh, favorite part of the show. This is something that I've started. You know, I've exercised the uh, equipment owner's prerogative, and if. Also, the uh, access user in general, and gone definitely into vanity video here, uh, and just take this segment by myself, so I can talk to you really, because uh, to you, you are the most important part of our show. To me, anyway, is the people that we're doing it for, the audience, studio audience, and so I like to come down into the studio before the people get here and turn on the camera and talk to you. And this week I'd like to uh, read you a little something from a book. This is uh, by Jane Stemridge. It's an old book. It's from the Civil Rights Movement. It's called I Play Flute. And uh, this just about sums it up for me, this poem that she's written. Uh, it's a title poem in the book. And uh, for me, it kind of outlines what the year has been about. And uh, that, you know, we've... Uh, well, I can't get philosophical myself. I think it'll be self-evident to you. So I'll just uh, read from the book. The Flute for Bob. Where in all the off... Uh, the Flute for Bob. Where in all the awful apparatus we acquired to hasten freedom is the flute. The fine, thin flute. The flute, thin thing. The thin, thin thing which thinner than the rain rings freedom in. you enjoyed it and I hope uh, that you remember in my heart you are the most important thing. Hope you enjoy the show. To the American Music Show, our first employee ever, Wanda Peak, our newscaster. And Wanda, uh, you have a new permanent, I see. Um, you know, that's because, you know, that little talk that we had and everything and I'm going to be trying to get like a more professional looking style and just trying to be just a little bit more like it was having a regular news. And I got 
is permanent and trying to wear a little bit nicer clothes and not so much makeup. Because um, Ms. Duncan took me back and talked to me about my clothes. And so we're gonna be, it's going to probably be looking a lot better in the new year. But she also told you, I hope, that uh, we were expecting you to give us some news headlines from 1981. No, she ain't said nothing about that. She, all she said was that y'all had a show that y'all was sending up to New York now, and it couldn't be looking like you no, know, just some slouchy something that somebody just thought about, and that it didn't didn't show any kind of respect for the audience, you know, to just have have yourself not fixed up. And so she she got me this permanent in this dress. Y'all really think all this mess is interesting? Cause I'm getting really bored. I, I wanted to talk to y'all about, you told me something when I come here to work about dental insurance. And now like, if I'm gonna have to get all this fixed up and everything, I think we better go back and start talking to some of the dental insurance. He's gonna fix my car. He's gonna get my little boy in better daycare. When I start having these problems with my resident manager because of his, this man's working for him, I ain't nobody I Remember Please the name of it? Hands. No, I have to have both hands free. I can't remember the name of it, but it was real popular when I was a boy. Um, it goes like this: Look, uh, me and my wife and my brother Joe set out in a Ford for San Pedro. We had much gas, and the tires was low, but that old Ford would really go. We was going along as people might out on the desert, flying light, when a Mercury began behind began to blink his lights. He honked his horns and he blew out of sight. Out on the desert we did glide, flying low and flying wide. Me and that Mercury taking a ride, stand exactly side by side. Uh, all of a sudden, I heard something coming. I thought it was a plane by the way it was humming. As it pulled by, I turned the other way, but the guy in the Mercury had nothing to say because passing us up as we went our way was a kid in a hopped up Model A. First to make sure that your wig's on right then you get dressed up like Saturday night. Diamonds and pearls all around. Start up your car and you go downtown. Then you get down to the party spot where you know that club is really hot. Work in the front, work in the back. Now you're doing the fatty jack. <laughs> oh, Lord, here we are. I told y'all I could drive. <laughs> this is a fun place. How cute. And what a cute crowd. Everybody's down here. Everybody's here tonight. Yeah, this is going to be great. We're going to have a big time. Honey, get me a cocktail. Yeah, vodka. And make it a double. <laughs> Woo, yeah. <laughs> Sure that your wig's on tight, then you get dressed up like Saturday night. Diamonds and pearls all around. You start up your car and you go downtown. Then you get down to the party spot where you know that club is really hot. Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Now you're doing the fanny jack. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't believe I said that. Don't tell the bishop that I said that. <laughs> We are having a ball down here tonight. I'm telling you the truth. We are having the best time ever. Yeah, and put some water on mine, too. <laughs> First, you make sure that your wings are right there. You get dressed up like Saturday night. Diamonds and pearls all around. Start up your car and you go downtown. Then you get down to the party spot where you know that joint is really hot. Work in the front, work in the back. Now you're doing the Betty Jack. Now you're doing the Betty Jack. Now you're doing the Betty Jack. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Love that Betty Jack. And now here's the moment you've all been waiting for, especially this time for all you erase your heads. Who's doing a song by a racer? Here she is, the one and only Miss DeAndre Payne. Yes. Go ahead with your drumming for what it's 
floors are your bed. Stricken bounds, kicking up dirt. For when it's dark, you'll never know what it may be. I never know with your screaming and shopping home. You'll find treasure while cooking up bunk, but the knife is sharp. You better watch out or you'll cut your hand. And they covered up the sun until all the birds that are gone blurred. And them fishes in the sea has all gone to sleep. And they covered up For what it's worth, you'll find out that you're strict clowns. Kicking up dirt, cause when it's dark, you don't know what night it is. You might be, go ahead with your scheme and you go shop at home. For what it's worth, oh, And y'all know I went down to Odom's Pond and Rilla Fine was down there and she told me that I had to be quiet on a can of cuz them fishes was asleep, y'all. And they covered up the sun until them birds had all grown birds. And them fishes in the sea, y'all, they'd all gone to sleep. All them fishes had, I tell you what. Go ahead with your swimming for what it's worth, or you'll know you'll be stricken, bound, kicking up dirt. For what it's worth, what it's worth, what is it worth, y'all? You go ahead with your swimming. Is it worth $5 to y'all? Is it worth $10 to y'all? What is it worth, y'all? And they covered up the sun until them birds had all grown birds. And the fishes in the sea, they'd all gone to sleep. to hey. another episode of the Andra's hey. Nighttime Soiree hey. Party. Hey. Yay. Hey. How are y'all? Fine and you? I'm fine and you. How fine are you this you? evening? Fine. How are you? Glad I'm fine. to see you. And are y'all fine out there? Because we sure all here. I'll tell you what, we are so glad to be here for y'all. And look at here, we have got a special brand new segment of, of Dondra's Nighttime Soiree Party cooked yeah. up for everybody. What has we got, Candy? Cooked up. We have the Little Miss Artem contest. Yeah. 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 Y'all are going to love this. What has we got for them? Well, over the next several weeks, we'll be showing you contestants in the Little Miss Artem's contest and you have to cast your vote by saving labels from Vayner, um cans and the five ounce. That's very interesting. The only way you can, of course, if he's got to be in the country. And the seven really ounce counts as three votes. Oh. So if you save your labels from your Vayner really? cans. Are you chewing gum <laughs> at yeah. night? 
good. Well, um, and, and, and then, but them all the time. how many counts is one? Five ounce can label counts as one, one and the seven one, ounce one, counts as count three. Count what about the nine ounce? That's the kind I eat. I, I but like we have, to, we have to show some of them. I'm going to read oh, let's you down. Oh, we has got, y'all, we has got candidate pictures. Don't you have y'all. the picture? We're going to show a couple of them every week. Jeffy. And right now, Duff Odom is going to show you this, candidate number one. The candidate, first little Miss Odoms. This is, no. The this first one. little Miss Odoms <laughs> is Tanisha Katisha Jean Fane. And she's the daughter of Ms. Rizzer, Lena Fambro Esco and Lester Eric Balpine fame. Oh, yeah, she they're on like lot 87. She her mama's trailer in Odom's Heights and part-time with her daddy on General Mark Clark Boulevard. She lot is 89. in the second grade class of Miss Patty Swindlesworn at Palmetto Elementary. She likes rap music and watching soap operas on TV. Yeah! Her favorite color is hot pink, and she wants to be an ornamental iron worker or operate her own feed and seed store when she grows up. That's Tanisha Katisha Jean Thane. Oh, boy. And, and now y'all is going to move on to number two. And the second Little and Miss Odom's contestant, number contestant two. is Brittany Latrell Odom, and she's the daughter of Heather Naomi Swernberg and Farron Dwayne Odom. She lives with her Mima by Esther Swernstein on the Dead End Road. Lot she is in Mission Key to Spivey's first grade class at Palmetto Elementary School. Her favorite subject in school is modeling. Ooh, that she, was my major, y'all. She wants to be a model when she grows up. Her well, favorite, she's in the right place now, y'all. Her favorite color is tangerine, and her hobbies are watching TV and modeling. Her favorite singing group is the Jackson 5, and she has a pet Shetland pony named Monique. Ooh, and that's Brittany wow. Latrell Odom. Yay! Yay! Everybody give them a hand. Yay! Well, y'all, those them's is our first two contestants in the Little Miss Odoms contest, and y'all has got to watch each and every episode of this here series on account of cause the what? exciting finalists are coming up, and y'all can vote on them by writing in. So look for the address at the end of the program to write in for your favorite candidate for Little Miss Odom. Are you giving the address? We're giving it up at the end of the program, um, Steph Odom. Not club sandwich. Nightclub sandwich. Nightclub sandwich. And now sandwich. we're getting ready to go on to the nightclub, nightclub sandwich, sandwich part of the show, y'all. Nightclub sandwich. Salmon sandwich. We're going we're to a high class nightclub, nightclub y'all. And maybe we're going to have a sandwich out there. At the Andra's Nighttime Soiree Party. Come 
back for a real quick little segment here, and oh. it's gonna tell you what are we going into now, Candy? We're going to have our sister trailer parks every week. We're going to be saluting the sister trailer park. And tonight's That's right, yeah. sister trailer park is Sunrise Mobile Homes Estates in Conyers, Georgia. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! And the slogan of Sunrise Mobile Homes Estates is Rockdale County's friendliest trailer park. They guarantee you'll so know your neighbors sweet, in just one night. And we know it is, y'all, because we have been out there for a vine roast before. The resident manager there is Rodonna Stubbs, and every Wednesday night at the com their community room, they have their swapping shop night, and the inventor's corner is held every other Saturday afternoon. Oh, now that is fun. Mm -hmm. And the famous residents from Sunrise Mobile Homes Estates in Conyers, Georgia, are Trina Saxon and Clive Jackson. Yeah! yeah. Wow. wow! The big news there is they are looking forward to the opening of a new above-ground pool sometime in the next five years. Ooh. And so that's our sister oh, with Sunrise Mobile Homes Estates in Conyers, we Georgia. We love Sunrise Yay. Mobile Homes Estates. And now that bottom, we have got another segment to go on to. It's part of the Tonight's Music Club. And what are we featuring this week, Duffy Adam? Oh, uh, this week, my special request, there's just the lines waiting to see this one. It's RuPaul's news video. Yeah! Yay. What's it called? Yay. Prisoner of Love. Ooh, yeah!
Sylvester has been a fun night time for a party. Yeah. And we has just had so much fun that we has done run out of time, y'all. Yeah. And we ain't got time to go on to Duff Autumn's special crafty craft segment. No. I'm just show y'all. So we're going to have to do that next week, y'all. So look here. We're going to see y'all next week. Make sure you I'm tune up in at the same time and the same new up channel too late. for another one of Dondra's Night Time Soiree Party. I stayed up too late. It ain't that late, Duffy. And it sure ain't too late to get out your pencil and paper and write to Deandra and thank her for inviting you to a high-class party like this nighttime soiree party that's the most highest-class kind. And you can write Deandra, Duffy, and Candy Suntop, too, at their very own post office box at Odom. It's post office box 54472, Atlanta, Georgia, 30308. And join them again next time for DeAndra's nighttime soiree party. And until then, you have you a nice day. This is your announcement, Darlester F. speaking. And electronic uh, uh, sound recorded. You has done ended up right here, where high society meets the Andre Peak, right there in the Andre Peak's Salon de Odoms, featuring current events by Candy Suntop, and the facilitator tonight is Duffy Odom. He's right there at the Andre Peak's Salon de Odoms. Come in, Duffy Odom. La la, ooh la 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 la, ooh la 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 la, oh la, pacosy pocket, oh la, everyone, hello and welcome to the most original, most international, most high style, DeAndra's Salon Dodum, and we are practicing the best of taste. We have the highest style in fashion, and we have the highest style in music and art and culture. Because you know, a salon is not just a place where you come and hang out and buy stuff like a store and stuff. It's a place where you go and you talk about art and things you read, literature and culture stuff like that. So you have to be oh so stylish. You have to be ooh la la and like that. And so we are being so European with our flair. As we welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to the one and only DeAndre Salando Autumn. And I'm Duffy Odom, and we'll soon be presenting our own star, you know who, Miss D. Oh, Draw a Peak. And, but first, Oh my goodness. And so, the Most High Society, yay, here he comes. RuPaul, Star Booty, Star Booty, Star Booty, on Salon. <laughs> Star Booty. <laughs> Star Booty. Star. Star Booty. <laughs> I'm the hottest secret agent girl spy the U.S. government has produced. Thank you so much, America, for making this adventure just as special as the others. I'm proud to put drugs out of business and to make this country drug-free and, and to make this country drug-free and make all the ghettos safe for, and to make this country drug-free and make all the ghettos safe for every black child and to make this country drug free and make all the ghettos safe for every black child, every Puerto Rican child, and every white child that had to cross the American borders. I, Sugar Baby, am proud to be an American. Thank you so much. Thank you. I was an ex-model, now I'm a 
top spy. And I'll work those little twins till they die. For America. I am Star Booty. I am Star Booty. In the name of the United States government, the number one top spy in the world is going to whoop some butt tonight, girlfriend. I am Star Booty. I'm going to whoop some butt tonight. Don't mess with me. I am Star Booty. I'm going to whoop some butt tonight. Don't mess with me. Star Booty. I am, girlfriend, I am, star booty, I'm not whoop some butt tonight, don't mess with me, star booty, I am, star booty, I'm not whoop some butt tonight, don't mess with me, star booty, I am, I am, the one, if you need me, if you need me, yeah! Call me, baby. The one, if you need me, yeah! Call me, baby. And I'm gonna whip some butt tonight. And I'm gonna whip some butt tonight. And I'm gonna whip some butt tonight. <laughs> oh. I am. Star booty! Yes, danger. Oh. I am. <laughs> oh, I am Star Booty. Yes, danger. Don't want them to know I'm here. Uh, I just get them. I'll get them. You know, I'll find them. I think I could smell them in this building as we. I'm gonna rip some heads tonight, girlfriend. I'm going to whoop some butt, cause I'm. They don't call me Sugar Baby Buns for nothing, honey. Here they go. Here I go. I'm gonna get them. Trying to rip off the United States because I don't want them to know I'm here. Uh, I just get them. I'll get them. You know, I'll find them. I think I could smell them in this building as we. I'm going to rip some heads tonight, girlfriend. I'm going to whoop some butt because I'm. They don't call me Sugar Baby Buns for nothing, honey. Here they go. Here I go. I'm going to get those motherfuckers. Trying to rip off the United States government, girl. Now, let me see. They're here, I can smell them. Cave Nectus. Ah! Stop! 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 In the name of Sugar Booty, United States government! In the name of Sugar Booty, United States government! Stop put that gun down because I'll whip your ass right now! Stop! In the name of Sugar Booty, United States government! Stop put that gun down because I'll whip your ass right now! And here, you evil little twins, you wanna fight? Come on, let's do it right now! If, if, if I fight, we fight fair! Throw those guns down! Come on, let's get to it! And look! Petrified. Like what? <laughs> Drugs! Drugs! Drugs are the downfall of America. Why do you think they call it death? I lost a younger brother and a second cousin to heroin just like this. And I feel like you're responsible for it. Drugs are the biggest problem in this country. Why do you think they call it drugs? Drugs are the biggest problem in this country. Why do you think they call it drugs? Drugs. And drugs. Or dope or anything they want to call it. Heroin, king heroin, call it what you want. It's still trash to me. And dope means trash. Why, well, you're not nothing but a goddamn pusher. Why, well, you're not nothing. Why, well, you're not nothing but a goddamn pusher! <gasps> not nothing but a goddamn pusher! <gasps> Why, well, you're not nothing but a goddamn pusher! <gasps> I loathe you. I pay 
taxes. It sells drugs. Ah! Star booty. Star. Star booty. <laughs> Our business, and to make this country drug free and make all the ghetto safe. Business, and to make this country drug free and make all the ghetto safe for our business and to make this country drug free and make all the ghetto safe for every black child for business and to make this country drug free and make all the ghetto safe for every black child business and to make this country drug free and make all the ghetto safe for every black child my pleasure for my country you know this is the country that brought me out of the ghetto yes Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. Brought me out of the ghetto. Yes. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Brought me out of the ghetto. Yes. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you know, this country's been good to me. You see, I was a poor black ghetto child. And the US government saved me out and found me because of my outstanding athletic qualities. And I feel like this country has brought out the best in me. That's why I, Sugar Baby, Sugar Snatch, Star Booty. Star. Star Booty. <laughs> I'm the hottest secret agent girl spy the U.S. government has produced. Thank you so much, America, for making this adventure just as special as the others. I'm proud to put drugs out of business and to make this country drug-free and make all the ghetto safe for every black child, every Puerto Rican child, and every white child that crossed the American borders. I... Sugar baby. I'm proud to be an American. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now, here she is. The most cosmopolitan, the most metropolitan, the one and the only. Going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Here she is, the one and only. Miss Deandra P. Yay! Yay! Madonna's big hit. Deeper and deeper, y'all. Yay! Here we go, y'all.
and Daddy and Papa and Mama. It's all kind of mold me, y'all. It's all kind of scold me, y'all. I feel just like a pop diva when I do it, y'all. Never gonna have it again, beeper and beeper. That was great. Pop deeper. Beeper and beeper and pop beeper. Deeper. Pop deeper and beeper. Peak pop and deeper. It's a peak pop and peeper of a beeper with the deeper deeper. Okay, well, um, look at her, y'all. We has got to get on. Um, and what are we gonna do first, y'all? Um, current events. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for current events. All the current stuff that you need to know. Presented by our own Candy Suntop. Yay! And today's, today's um, current event is so important and such big news. And it's out of an article from the Del Vista Raymar newsletter. And they sent it on over to us because it was so important. It says, uh -oh. the headline Whoa. says, Mother says daughter bit by rat. Oh, Only wow. at the Del Vista Ray Moore, y'all. Yeah. A mother said hey, a rat bit there. her 22 month old daughter 25 times Ouch. while they were sleeping hey. Sunday night. Ow. Crystal LeMay that Epps, that's the mother, said her boyfriend found a rat in the mobile home and killed it yesterday. Well, they plan to have it checked for rabies. I sure hope they get that done how'd soon. She kill? Are they having a memorial service? Ms. For Epps it? said she complained <laughs> about rats three or four times to Maybelline Ain't Stubbs, resident way. director of Del Vista Raymar Trailer Park. On, what, I can't, what's that street? Oh, I don't know. But nothing was done. That's right behind us, y'all. Strickland. Well, Sim got says there lane. were holes in the walls and floors, and there were rat Strickland droppings Drive. throughout the mobile home. But Ew. Maybelline Stubbs, owner of the mobile park, said they never notified us of any problems. Everything we heard was secondhand. <laughs> What? Stubbs said she heard they were having a rat problem from one of their neighbors, so Stubbs' husband offered to give Epps some rat poison. Epps said she didn't want it around her children. You can't put poison inside a trailer with a toddler crawling, Epps said. They're bound to eat just about everything. Epps said she asked the owners to put the poison outside, but they never did. Epps said oh, Stubbs took poison Epps to the resident manager Stubbs after the child was bitten. It was too late then. Uh -oh. said. Born in there somewhere, y'all, and fine. That's a terrible thing. Stubbs said they never had a problem with rats before. If there were rats, and she said she thinks it was caused by unsanitary living Epps conditions. What else fine. can it be, she said. No one else in the mobile home park has reported a problem with rats. Epp said her home was always clean. So it goes on and on. They're having an investigation, and they just, they're just asking Man, people. They're, they're asking That's like people to look and see if they the see any off. rat it's activity, and to look for burrows, and if you got your cats, to, to put your Keep cats outside, your see if your cats, cats see any rats. 
keep and watch out we're going to keep up with this story. We'll keep you posted you know if anything else happens. But everybody Revenge. needs to keep an eye out for rats. You should always watch, watch out for your rats. rat spotting, y'all. When you get nothing's out in the car, go you know, look for your rat spotting. Them. So you're when looking you for them. You know, it's nothing's more current event than a rat problem. It's a pretty big. Whoa. We has got to move on right now. And Duffy Odom, what do you got planned for us right now? Well, since this is the salon, and I am the facilitator. Yay! Facilitator? I am the facilitator, and this this time I'm facilitating the music for all those in foreign lands. You know, there are, we have many boys and girls overseas, not just foreigners in foreign lands. So we need to teach people of all places how to sing the International Odom's Team Song. And so we're going to sing it. And remember, this all has to do with the, with the Zalanda Odoms and the Teenage Music Club. And Team Odoms. And Team Odoms. And Yay! that's all we want in this song. We are all one in this song. And, and you, DeAndre, you got to do the boon top part. I'm ready. We got to get the other music turned down. OK. Boom tap 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 bo
But Candy, um, we ain't got time for we the helpful hints. But the, for so the, the helpful hint is what? Um, y'all need to do stuff a little bit faster, faster so y'all can get time, time to put in the helpful hints. So we're just gonna have to move on. Um, tune in next time. See Thank y'all soon. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 That's 
it for Deandra Peaks, Salon de Odoms, except for your interacting with Deandra Peak, Candy Suntop, and Duffa Odom by writing in to Deandra Peaks post office box down to Odoms. This here is your announcement, Darlester F speaking. Have a nice week. Another exciting matchup in the trailer game, which is better than them other kind of games because it's held someplace nice and it's got Team Odoms going up against some other team. Right here at the Entre Peaks Teenage Music Club, starting off tonight with another one of the Entre Peaks world famous twin spins from RuPaul and the Pop Tars.
Take your double wide on Tim Adams on a 
ride with my mom, Auntie Madam. Have liners on the side, Auntie Madam. Auntie Madam. We want you, we want you, we want you at a barbecue. We want you, we want you, we want you at a barbecue. That's right, y'all. Take it out at Adam's stand, you're gonna be on the team. What if Mimo says, take me to the super loop, then you're gonna have to win. Everybody's on team Adam, stand at Adam's, that's because it's him and me. If you're on team Adam, you can have too much fun if you're out on Anna's week. On team Adam, you can have a fun much fun, on team Adam. Go on a ride with me, ma, on team Adam. You live in a double wide, on team Adam, on team Adam. Auntie Madam, you live in a double white Auntie Madam. Take me up for a ride, Auntie Madam. Stack my inners up high, Auntie Madam. Auntie Madam, Auntie Madam. That's right, Daffy Adam. What are we gonna do now? We want you, we want you, we want you for a new recruit. We want you, we want you, we want you for a new recruit. That's right, Daffy Adam. If you're gonna be on. Team Adams, then you have got to work out, y'all, because Duffa Adam is, you know what he is? Duffa Adam is our champion player on Team Adams, y'all. And what are we gonna do with him? That's right, Duffy Adam. We want you. We want you. That's right, y'all. We want Duffy Adam. Hey, that's me. On Team Adams, y'all, and we want you on Team Adams. Yay! Modem, you can stack viners high, Auntie Modem. You can take me my for a ride, Auntie Modem. You can live in a double wide, Auntie Modem. Auntie Modem, Auntie Modem. You can stack viners high, right? Auntie Modem, Auntie Modem, Auntie Modem. Club so dear that, that fills my heart with gladness all the year. Every single member has that something in him or her. It is the spirit of Dion. segment of the Andres Teenage Music Club. I'm the Andre Peak. This is Duffy Odom and Candy Santop. Yay! Yay! And right now I want to call the meeting of the Teenage Music Club to order, y'all. And we're going to have Miss Candy Santop read the minutes of the last time's meeting for y'all. Yay! Yay! These are the minutes of the last time's meeting for y'all. The meeting was called to order by our president and founder, Deandra Peak. Yay! 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 <laughs> and the minutes from the last meeting was read by LaShawn Esco because Yay! because the regular recording secretary, Candy Suntop. Yay! Was late because she had to help Miss Sing Sam cut up some cheese wedges for the South Fulton County Soil and Water Conservation District bi monthly meeting. Ooh, and boy, was they that good. Community service, y'all. The results of the Teenage Music Club member survey was read huh? by Courtney Shantania Stubbs. Where'd she go? committee chairperson, which found that 73% of the members named RuPaul yeah. as their ideal woman and 75% as their ideal man. Yay. Yay. Yay! Others named in the survey.
survey were Barbara Mandrell, Larry T, and Janet Jackson. Yay! Wow, what a crowd, y'all. The I'm complete. Oh, I'm sorry. The complete survey results will be posted in the front visitors part of Maxine Odom's what? office. Just in that front part oh. where the chairs are. Refreshments of hot fried Vayner nuggets and lime flavored Kool-Aid were served. Respectfully submitted um, candy sun top. Yay! With wow, y'all. With the help of LaShawn Esco. Yay! Yay! Another big time successful report of the last time smitten from Candy Sun Top, y'all. Yay! And now. Yay. What well, has got to move on to Duffy Adams' report of this show? Hit it, Duffy Adams. What? Yay! Uh, my, report is, no, my report this today is how to listen to your favorite music during tornado. If you hear a train outside your trailer and don't live near the piggyback, may be in the path of tornado. But to put the record on is a problem when everybody is screaming and the record needle is jumping all over. But if you if you have tapes instead of records and lots of batteries from the something that's a dollar store, you can listen to RuPaul or DeAndra until your trailer finally lands on the other side of Odom. Yeah! Yay! Ow! That's how we've moved about Ow! four times, y'all. Look at here. That's a great report, Duffy Odom. I hope that teaches y'all something now. Look at here. Yay, we have got to move you. on now to what are we doing now, Duffy Adam? Video Aldi, and what is it this week? Of course, it's RuPaul. RuPaul. Yay! Yay! On the Andra's Teenage Music Club.
Disco Paradise 2000, y'all. Video done by me, Dondra Peak. Right here for y'all on Dondra's Teenage Music Club. And what do we got to go on to now? We has got the team items. Yay! This is a competition where Duffa Odom of Team Items is um, teamed up against uh, a representative from the Del Vista Ray Mall. Yes, it Mobile ain't Home no Court. fair that you all didn't let me talk a thing till now. I am, yes, I am Tabitha Tamara Denise something, and um, and my dog Fifi is the best dog at the Del Vista Ray Mall team, and I'm going to show you that I can beat you guys, even though you has ganged up on me and made uh -oh, me forget Papi my last name. What have you got to say to that? Boy, we got a long way to go to beat that. You know what I say? I say, go Team Adams! Yay! 
Okay, now what's gonna start the competition? And, and what Duffy is it this is time? the first contestant. That's right. And the trick it's is my cute little puppy dog. Do what? Do I'm sorry, Candy. Candy Suntop is the commentator here. It's time for the puppies to do a trick for a viener. And the first what contestant you get is your Duffy puppy what hates vine. With his dog, Petey. Yay! You Petey. Petey's ready and this willing. Is the Adams, this is the Adams mascot dog, Petey, with his trick. Take do your viener. Because he loves vines. Yay! And that was the last And now for the Del Vista Raymar trick. Oh, boy. My Fifi of Del Vista Raymar team is the bestest dog ever, from the bestest team ever, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Choose now, Fifi, your honey, Fifi, put her down. Put you play dead for uh, this uh, See? Now, uh, Petey done grabbed that other viner before. Um, That's okay. Fifi uh, done be playing dead. Um, I think that well, she's going to be disqualified. She is only playing well, dead. Um, it is her we can't trick. Prove that, it um, is so her talent. Y'all, so, um, I tell you what, y'all. Um, you guys, like it's no fair. You guys, no fair. You guys, it's no fair. Is no fair. No fair. She is such an excellent Ray actress. Mobile, Ray Mar Mobile Home Court. She had reaction court, to uh, nothing. Has, uh, been disqualified. Now, I ain't never that, gonna compete with you all, nerds, for nothing. No more. You all is just a bunch of nerds. It was a good old dog. So look here, y'all. I tell you what, y'all. What is coming up now, y'all? What? Well, um, we thought we was gonna have time for another music video, y'all. No. Y'all just in this We ain't got time now, y'all. As usual, we has just packed the show for all kinds of stuff for y'all, and now we ain't got time for the big old finale video, so we're just gonna have to move on. And you're just gonna have to tune in next week so you can see that big old video, right, y'all? Yay! On the Andres Teenage Music Club! And everybody here wants everybody there to support Team Odom. Because support for Team Odom is made possible by joining up to the Andre Peaks Team Age Music Club, the number one support of Team Odom. And every time you write in right now, you're going to get your free I Support Team Odom button sent right back to you in the mail. So address your writing in request to P.O. Box. 54472 Atlanta, Georgia 30308. This is your announcement, Darlester F speaking. Have a nice week. And now, live from the community room at Odom's All Double Wide Mobile Home Courts in Palmetto, Georgia, Duffa Odom and the Andra Peak is proud to bring you the show that features the most fun videos on all of your TV sets. It's the Andra's Video Funhouse. And now let's go direct to the community room and Duffy Odom. Hello everybody, I'm Duffy Odom. Here we are again live at Odom's All Double Wide Mobile Home Trailer Court. With DeAndre Video Funhouse starring the one, the only DeAndre Peak. And DeAndre, once again, is over next door, right, right here in South Fulton County. She's next door at Rango Fame Snack Shed, getting her a spice sandwich, the antelope or something. Something really good. And if you want to see something really good to whet your appetite, you just stay tuned right here. We got music videos. We got we got continuing series. We got serials. We've got lists of lists of all the people that have written us in. And remember that your favorite video can be showed right here on DeAndre's Funhouse. 
If you just stay tuned and look for that address and send it on in your very favorite video right here on Really TV on the cable. And so what's we're going to come up next is Mr. Technocrat starring Red Meat and Sprouts. And then we'll come back and we'll see something else <laughs> right here on DeAndre's Video Funhouse. Yay! Good evening, good day, hello. Here is the Mr. Technocrat Show, program of educated learning for all Bulgarians, tots, toddlers, and other non-adults. And now here is doer of experiments, explainer of things that exist, and exhibitor of Balkan. We know how, Mr. Technocrat. Ah, Hello, that's ahoy. me. Hello. Today we will be assisted by educated youth from sixth level elementary school and machine parts center, Dovsky Ardovsky. Hello, Dovsky. Hello, Mr. Technocrat. Today, Dovsky, we will be conducting some very vital experiments. But tell us first, Dovsky, what is the educated method employed by all Bulgarian scientists, brainy ones, and other thinkers in order to make small print bigger? They employ macrofilm. It's most advanced technical log for making small print bigger so that if Bulgarian eyes go bad or move far away, such information will not be lost or misforgotten. Couple with macrofilm, salmonella, the epic poem of our homeland Bulgaria, salmonella. can be stored on no less than four sizable cardboard cartons, neatly stacked, easily seen, and seldom misplaced. Now, for first experimentation, tell us, Dusky, why is the exacting measurement of candle power so important to any Bulgarian person or place? So that ampere to ground squirrel ratio can be maintained in order for black sea oystermen to identify nets, Mr. Technocrat. Yeah, Hans, yeah, Hans, this is true. And today, we will be taking measurement of candle power. For this, we need several fine precision type items, including common bucket, postage scale, and several other objects, and of course, unknown number of candle. Is this cattle prod, Mr. Technocrat? No, this is common postage scale used to do exacting measurement of candle power. Here, please, set it down here. Now, place, take other articles out, please, thank you. Now, place common bucket containing the unknown. Do not look in there. We must not use our heads, we must use science. Place bucket yeah. oh. on top of postage scale, and then attach, of course, the rope line there, attach it right there. And of course, measure please the wave length. Now, you have the wave length. Now, please, then remove it, compute then by sardonic clean method using the planometer. And of course, please use Lenin's book of random numbers for the shellfish trade, containing many random numbers, words, and strange designs, and several other things, and can be read upside down. Your answers and computations, please is 12. Now, we will use the counting method. Tahanska, Pans, Dalens, Parenvin, Fragus, That's not one. Simon, Grown, Lion, What is your answer? Dracow is 12. Such is Bulgarian precision. It's only wrong by six. Time now for next experimentation. We will show you that water bends a stick. Place stick in water is bent. What does this show us, Dusky? That no fish swim in straight line. Yes, uh, this is truth, uh, not line. Yeah. Right. Only straight lines can exist on land, and even on Balearic Islands, surrounded by water, all, all lines, lines are, are slightly, slightly curved. curved. This, of course, brings us to new advances in Bulgarian nuclear atomic science, where small things are considered like large. Oh, you mean like people's small things, people's research and small things lab, Mr. Technocrat? Yes, there are Bulgarians' fine minds, thinkers, and other ones who use their heads will someday split atom of particle board, most common element in all of homeland. And today, we will have lifetime demonstration of such activities. Here is replica, two times larger than real, of particle board atom. 
Uh, yes, and now the advanced atom splitting instrument which sits upon the floor. In a real experimentations, such instruments are carried on the backs of lathe operators who walk down long, well-lit hallways, walking back and forth to closets where such particle board atoms are stored. They then open the door and hack and split apart the atoms, releasing huge amounts of waste products, fissure materials, and other things that will someday power entire taxidermy industry of homeland. Ha! Huh? Now all peoples will have mounted body of ground squirrel on wall, Mr. Technocrat. This is truth. And so, please take advanced atom splitting instrument and cut at point of off-center for maximum release of all fission-type materials. Has teeth. Yes, please, cut right here. Will this release of energy kill us, Mr. Technocrat? No, because this is television. You Keep are cutting. You are very wise, Mr. Technocrat. Keep cutting, please, thank you. Mr. Technocrat. Yes? My teeth are loose. It's no problem. Don't worry, we will in program. Please be sure to tune back in next week when viewing is safe, and we will show you how Heimlich Maneuver enabled building a Bill Blasky bridge over the river Bill Blasky. Thank you. Yo! And now, something you've all been waiting for because we get letters and letters and letters and letters. Here she is singing her first hit single. DeAndre Peake asking the musical question, how gentle is the rain? Yay. Yay! And now I'm going to sing my first hit single, How Gentle is the Rain, a musical orchestration by Mr. Rutop Rack. Yay! Yay. Thank you so much. 